This is the Daisy Powerline 880S, uh, 177 caliber BB and pellet pump action pellet rifle, and it's the weapon we're going to use today in a penetration test. Um, you can see the red dot sight that I use because of my vision problems, which are attributable to old age. Using reading glasses for a scope is just about impossible. So I had to switch to a red dot scope, which works absolutely perfectly, especially once you have it sighted in. You just put the dot on the sight, you've got good peripheral vision since both eyes are open, and you squeeze the trigger. This is a penetration test of the Daisy 880S at 10 feet using a juice bottle with um, plastic that's a lot thicker, I think, than a milk carton. I'm using 11 pumps. It's a Crossman Copperhead Hypervelocity Hunting Pellet and the site is a Tasco red dot. I stopped the camera because I wasn't sure if I'd actually um, hit the jug, but I did. I can see the pellet in there and the, the water's leaking out. You can see the pellet right here. The pellet on the left here is the one fired through this um, juice jug with the thick plastic. Uh, it's a, about four and a half inches of water that it penetrated and actually bounced off the inside wall of the other side with enough force to actually um, push out the paper label on the other side and actually cut it a little bit. So I'll show you that in just a second. But the pellet itself held its shape pretty well. Um, this pellet that the pointer's on is the one that went through the jug, and the one on the right is an unfired pellet. And that shows um, that the one on the left is just kind of compressed a little bit. It has just a slight amount of um, angle on the head, and it's obviously rounded out a little bit more. And pushed down, but um, not a lot of deformation on the, um, the pellet itself. This is the mark that I made on the, the um, juice jug to use as a target, and I guess because there was a little parallax in me shooting a little bit to the right. Anyway, this is where the pellet actually struck, and like I said, it went all the way through, struck the back side of the jug and then um, I'm not really sure if you'll be able to see it on this view but it actually um, right about here on, on the word vegetable pushed the plastic out enough to tear the paper and make another dent on the inside so that's pretty good force um, you definitely want to be careful with these things because they are definitely um, powerful enough to put an eye out and certainly can penetrate skin um, but um, they're also a lot of fun anyway I hope this is informative and um, showed you a little bit of the power next time I'll just use the standard five and a half inch milk jugs filled with water